Yo, what's happening guys? It's King Tuds Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the filter gallery in, uh, in Photoshop. And this is for beginners, so if you guys are advanced or you're an intermediate, then this is going to be a little bit different. And sorry for the background noise, so I'm going to take a shower upstairs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the part 4 of Photoshop tutorials where I pretty much go over the basics and uh, just explain people uh, how to use Photoshop for uh, rookies, <laughs> pretty much. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use the filter gallery. And if you guys don't know what the filter gallery is, it pretty much is um, like I'll go ahead and show you right now. So if you go over to filter in the menu bar, uh, you're gonna see filter gallery, and make sure your background is selected as well. So select filter gallery, and once you select filter gallery, this is a very very large image. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out by pressing the command minus key or control minus if you're on a PC. So I just want to zoom out just to see um, my image here. And uh, so what the filter gallery is, it's kind of like um, Instagram. And if you've used Instagram, then you'll see that it gives you filters. And this is pretty much what it is. So it's kind of like a Instagram within Photoshop, if that makes any sense. So if you go over to the right side, you can see our um, folders. and the first one is artistic, so uh, if we open that up, you're going to see a bunch of filters that you could apply to the image and start uh, modifying it, uh, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so I'll go ahead and tell you the uh, folders. So we have artistic, we have brush, strokes, distort, sketch, stylize, and texture. So each one of these has their own little thing, so not everything is going to be like, you know what I mean. If, if we go over to artistic and we select one, is going to transform the whole image to colored pencil and this is a very large image so sorry for it uh, taking a long time I do not have the RAM to carry out all of that processing power so you can select this this looks really cool actually that looks pretty darn cool this one's cut out so it looks kind of like a cartoon so you could again change over here the option to decrease or increase the strength so if, over here you see number of levels if we decrease that um, just a little bit. You see, there's more lines within right here, or less lines actually. If we increase it to about seven, um, it's going to go ahead and change the image, and there's going to be slightly more detail. So the lower you go over here, number of levels, the more cartoon cartoonish it looks. So I don't go, I don't want to go in depth with this, but if you guys want a, a tutorial on this stuff, then please let me know. Uh, the next one is dry uh, brush. So uh, this is similar, but not very similar. So if you zoom in. You can see it's a little bit different, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, we have film grain. That one's pretty nice. Uh, that one kind of adds some grain. So if you want a very vintage look uh, to your images, then you can go over to grain and increase the highlight area. Uh, not too much though. Intensity could decrease this, so it's not very strong on it. And you can see if we zoom in, there's some grain, especially over the through the tires. So. Over here, you can select film grain. You can do fresco. You have a lot of options you can do with this. Like, you could go. <laughs> there's so much stuff that I could go through, but I don't think um, I don't want to make this a 20 minute video because that will take forever. So, I'm going to skip to the next one, which is paint daubs. Is that how you say it? Paint dubs? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. There's some really weird names. So again, you have a lot of stuff. Um, so we have palette knife. Oh, by the way, this is I think the uh, uh, all of the filters within the filter gallery, so just saying. Uh, plastic wrap, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do. Oh, this one looks pretty cool, actually. Kind of looks like a HDR effect. If you guys haven't seen that, I made a video on that if you guys want a tutorial on that. So, uh, this one's poster edge, uh, rough pastels, pastels, smudge stick, sponge. Uh, so, you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, again, you could go through a lot of this. So next one we have is uh, brush strokes, and what the brush strokes are is they're pretty much uh, an effect that gives off like a brush theme. So you can see that this looks painted because it's uh, angled strokes. Uh, you could do crosshatch, so this looks pretty cool. You could do uh, dark strokes. Um, you could do ink outlets or outlines. My bad. <laughs> uh, sp uh, spatter. Uh, so you can do a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go over to Distort, and you can go to Diffuse Glow. You can go to Glass. You could do Ocean Ripple. Um, so yeah, you could have 
sketch. So sketch is really cool if you guys don't want to actually draw. <laughs> you can just select this and it will kind of sort of look like it's been uh, drawn on paper. Again, you have to customize it over here through the details. So if I were to decrease, decrease this, it would change up the effect. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that one. Graphic pen. Again, you could go through all of these. I'm not going to go through all of them because it will take forever. Stylize. You can go over to glowing edges. This one's really, really cool. Um, and then we have texture. Texture is one of the most used, commonly used filters within the filter gallery because you could apply filters and add filters. Grain is pretty much the main one that I would probably use to kind of create a vintage look. But if I zoom in, you could see that it's kind of little colored dots. So that's the bad thing. You go over to Mos Mosaic Mosaic Titles. I cannot pronounce that. Patchwork, stained glass, and texturizer. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, let me go ahead and... Ooh, that one looks really cool, actually. That looks kind of like a canvas type of thing. So if you guys are looking for that, that's awesome. So again, you could um, hide this little thing by clicking the arrow right here. And that will allow you to see the whole image. Cool, so if we go over here and we select, uh, if you actually want to see the whole image, you can go down right here to the bottom left, and you can select uh, the percentage. So I want 100% of the image, there you go, or you actually want to fit on screen, you can select that and it's going to fit within the screen. So I'm going to click cancel, and if you go over to filter, you have a lot more stuff. You have lens correction, liquify, oil, paint, vanishing point, blur. Uh, distort, noise, pixelate, render, sharpen. So each one of these is pretty much self-explanatory. I mean, if you go over to stylize and go over to, I don't know, diffuse, um, you can really change up like the way uh, the image turns out to be. So I can't really explain it because it would just take forever. So I just don't want to make this video long, you know. Uh, blur, of course, you know what blur is, noise, so this is what I meant by noise. You can go over to noise, add noise, and then you can see the colored dots. If you don't want that, you can go to uniform. Um, yeah, and then that will take off the colored dots, as you can see. So if I select Gaussian, or is it monochromatic? Yeah, it's monochromatic. Sorry, sorry, my bad. It's monochromatic, so if you have it unchecked, you're going to see little colored dots. And Gaussian's pretty much uh, more spaced out. So if we select monochromatic, you can see that it applies the effect. So that is pretty cool, but I'm not going to do that right now. So um, if we go over to lens correction and you have your image or your filter selected, you can see auto correction and you could actually create a vignette. And if you guys don't know what a vignette is, is if you go over to custom and we go down to vignette, you can see the amount is at zero. So if I decrease this, you can see that the corners or the edges um, start to turn dark, giving this cool vignette image effect. So if we go over to midpoint, this is what's actually going to make it look cool. So I want it like this. Maybe I'm, I want the amount to decrease. So if you increase it, this will just make it brighter. So that's not what we want. A vignette is dark, so we just kind of decrease it just a little bit, just like this. We'll click OK and uh, it will apply it to the image. Cool, so this is how it looks. So before and after. Pretty cool though, <laughs> if you were to ask me. So that's pretty much what the filter gallery does. I mean, there's a lot I could go through, but if you guys want a tutorial or a specific tutorial on a filter, then please tell me down in the comments and I'll go ahead and reply to you as quick as possible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you did, please smack that like button and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.